The Mona Academy of Sciences and Technology, MAS, of the University of the West Indies, held a two-day training workshop to introduce participants to some of the pertinent issues surrounding electric vehicles. Lead firefighter of the St. Lucia Fire Service, Tyler St. Catherine William, says they were exposed to some of the challenges of responding to electric vehicle fires. Basically, it's an introduction to electrical vehicle technologies. At this moment, we don't have that many electrical vehicles in St. Lucia. Auto mechanics were represented at the workshop, soaking up invaluable information about electric vehicles. Cyril Williams is the public relations officer of the Association of Auto Mechanics. He says the knowledge gained at the workshop will serve his members well. It's actually just the basics of the EV vehicles, knowing the fundamentals about it, um, the components that they're made up of, um, and the functions. Tyler St. Catherine Williams says as electric vehicles are expected to become more common in St. Lucia, potential buyers should ensure they are well informed about the new technology. A lot of persons have expressed concern in reference to the fires that happen in electrical vehicles in terms of the lithium-ion batteries and how effectively we, the fire department, can not only help extricate individuals when they are involved in accidents, but also how we can effectively extinguish any fire that were to happen in an electrical vehicle. Also, we've touched on the impact of it throughout the Caribbean. A few countries have had experiences of fires in terms of flooding to the lithium-ion batteries as well as storage. So all of these things are things that are important for anyone who chooses to invest in an electrical vehicle. They have to take these into consideration. If you do choose to invest in an electrical vehicle, that you find out the long-term and the short-term benefits not only to you, but to your country and the world in general because there is a move towards going green and EV vehicles are simply the first step in going towards that move. The two-day program was held at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College on Wednesday and Thursday. It was a step forward in preparing St. Lucia for what is expected to be an influx of electric vehicles in the future. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.